Let's take a look at creating a CAN stick system that has a uh, like a head channel and a sill receptor where filler pieces will sit inside in between the verticals and the head channel has a continuous sight line from the front of the elevation same with the sill receptor so let's go ahead and do a new elevation and we're gonna pick um, let's just call it a CAN elevation we're gonna pick a system from the list um, we're gonna go ahead and pick any old thing here uh, here's a stacking system right here so 451 series stacking installation so this should actually be corrected in the uh, Yoast aluminum catalog so we'll have to go through this and fix that up for the web um, so I'll show you how to go in and make those corrections first let's go ahead and add the number of panels and stuff uh, get the, f the frame basically set up so we'll call it um, say 12 panels we'll call it 320 inches wide and we'll just call it 140 inches high just to make it easy to look at now so here's the basic frame layout but let's go into the elevation framing system remember when we click on this it basically is just editing the framing system uh, settings and parts for this one elevation so in this case that's what we're going to do um, now what I would want to do is call that can stick and that way we can see it in the list a little better and then the next thing we want to do is we want to tell the software that the head can is actually two inches and not the head and you'll see why in a second and the same thing with the sill we want to tell it has a two inch sill um, sub sill but a zero inch sill and those are two kind of important settings so notice how if we look up at the drawing here it's it's uh, the head is interrupted by the verticals right now that's the way it's showing and the sill is going to be the same way I can drag this over um, so you'll see the sill, sill is the exact same way but when we have this can stick system where the head channel and sill channels are continuous we need that look on the drawing so in order to get that look we're saying the head can needs to be two inches the head is zero and the sub is two inches and the sill is zero now the exception would be if your filler pieces stick down a little bit below the channel so if that's the case let's go ahead and set it up that way let's say there's a quarter inch of reveal below the head channel and that's basically a little bit of the filler piece sticking down so that changes your daylight opening so it's important to have that dimension in there if you need the correct glass sizes so let's do that and the same thing with the sill let's say the sill is actually uh, the sill filler pieces are extending up above the sill channel a quarter of an inch so that again changes our uh, daylight opening so so that's the way we're going to do that um, we want to do wall jams interrupt the sill and the reason we're leaving these things checked here we want the uh, door jam sitting inside the can and we'll uncheck that one so the, the verticals are going to interrupt the head still but they're not interrupting the head receptor or the sill receptor so we can still leave these checked so verticals and wall jams will still interrupt the sill and head the reason for that is we still have those filler pieces that are going to go in between if those boxes were unchecked there'd be no filler pieces going in between verticals the fillers would actually be continuous so we don't want that now the last thing we need is to add some length to the verticals because when the drawing is cut and the drawing is uh, I'm sorry drawn on the screen the verticals are actually in between the head receptor and sill receptor and that's the way the drawing is going to show it which means that's the way the program is going to cut those pieces so in order for those to sit inside the channels we're going to need to lengthen those a little bit to uh, sit up inside the channel let's say we need uh, two let's say we've got two inches of receptor on both top and bottom let's say we need three inches added to that gives us an inch of play to, to scoot it up and down um, you can always play with that number you know better than I do probably what uh, what that should be for your given installation but when I put a three here a positive three that's going to add three inches to every vertical and jam 
in this elevation and that's exactly what we want. The next step is to go over to the stock length material tab and make sure that our head receptor, sill receptor part numbers are the actual channels that they need to be. Um, and without wasting time I'm just going to pick any old thing here and insert that into the head receptor field. So you would want to make sure you have the correct parts for your head receptor and sill receptor and then keep in mind that the head material and sill material fields are just fillers. So chances are you've just got one part number in each one of these. Uh, the horizontals, verticals, all those things stay the same pretty much. Um, so those are the two, the other critical steps is the head material, sill material, those are still fillers and you need the correct part numbers there. The head receptor and sill receptor, those are your channels and you need the correct parts here. If it's a two-piece channel, go ahead and put both part numbers in each one. If it's not, then you've got one part. So that's really the difference between a, a CAN system and a, a regular screw, screw spline or a shear block system. So now that we've done that, notice how it hasn't redrawn the drawing correctly. So what we're going to do is hit redraw. And then we'll see um, that it should have drawn it correctly. Let's go back and see what's going on here. So we have the, oh, I'm sorry, the last thing we need to, and the basic mistake, we need to tell the program that it has a head channel and a sub -cell or a sill receptor. So there's a lot of different names for these things, but I forgot to check these boxes at the bottom. So really, whenever you have a value in this sub -cell or head can field, these boxes should be checked. Um, otherwise, it's not going to draw it. So what we saw was the program drew that quarter inch of reveal that we had for the actual head and sills. But without the channels in there, t knowing to draw those, it, um, it looks funny because it didn't draw those head receptors in. So once again, let's go ahead and click, click redraw. Now we should see the, the look that we want in this elevation. And you'll notice that the program splices it at a vertical in the middle of the vertical. So then you can have your long run, you know, 40 foot wide, 60 foot wide opening, 100 foot, whatever it needs to be, and the program will splice that for you. So now let's go in real tight here and see that reveal, that quarter inch reveal that we've got. So here's that reveal. We've got the two inch uh, receptor with the quarter inch reveal, so our glass sizes are going to come out correct. Uh, that's pretty much it for the, um, the CAN systems.